Zella Robotics provides the human sense of touch to robots. Today we're going to discuss how to prepare your warehouse for the aging population. The world is aging and this can bring a lot of problems to the economy as a whole. With fewer people being able to contribute to the workforce, the supply will fall far behind the demand. In order to lessen the impact this will have on the economy, but probably even more important to you, lessen the impact on the performance of your warehouse. It is of the essence that you prepare correctly and take the necessary steps to avoid problems in the future. Hello, my name is Alex, founder of Zella Robotics. We make thin, soft, durable tactile skin sensors for robot hands, grippers and human hands with minimal wiring. That could solve the future problems that your warehouse will have due to the aging population. In this video, I will explain how to avoid these problems and lessen the potential damage on the economy and play down the effects it will have on your life. To give some insight on the problem, the world is aging rapidly and Japan is the leading country in this process. In 1955, the share of aged population in Japan was 8%. Today, this number has significantly increased and now it is over 30%. This percentage is closely followed by countries like Italy with 25%, Spain with 23% and Hong Kong and Korea with 15%. However, the World Bank estimates that this will continue to grow and that it will reach 40% by the end of 2050. So this is why it will have an effect on the economy as a whole. To illustrate the problem even more, in 1955, one person over 65 years old would be supported by 10 workers. In 2016 this number has significantly decreased and one person over 65 years will be only supported by two workers. So the burden per worker is increasing, which indicates that there will be a lack of workers in the future. In order to lessen the impact this will have on your business, and in this case your warehouse, we must find a way to produce more with less people in the workforce. The solution would be to use robots for routine jobs like packaging. If we could fully optimize these practices, we would have more workers and more output to support the economy in which the workforce has decreased. Companies are trying to realize the automation of their warehouses. But to date, this has not been possible. At present, the Amazon warehouses that use robots have limited functions. Robots are unable to pick items from bins without damaging other items. Plus, there is no scope yet for robot workers in Amazon's food division. Derek Jones, the Global Director of Environment, Health and Safety at Amazon stated, Just imagine if you want bananas. I want my bananas to be firm. Others like the bananas to be ripe. How do you get a robot to choose that? Another company that tried to integrate robotics but was not able to fully automate the warehouses is Uniculo. They manage to replace humans for 90% of the work, but tasks related to picking products could not be done by robots. Reviewing both cases, one thing stands out. The problem with the optimization is picking up a product. The reason for this is because most warehouses focus on smart AI using visual data. However, picking up a product is not a visual problem. It's a tactile one. So in order to be able to fully automate your warehouses, we must provide the sense of touch to robots. Zella Robotics provides the sense of touch with our u skin sensors. If you have any questions or want to know more about how skin sensors can be used to help you prepare for the coming aging population crisis, send an email to alexander at zellarobotics.com. I'm happy to discuss your application with you. Zella Robotics 
provides the human sense of touch to robots.